Okay, we're going to solve a mole balance. Uh, we have two columns here. This is uh, our first one. Okay, and then this is a, a second separation tower. Um, and we have a feed stream here of a thousand kilomoles per hour. Now this is coming in at um, 50 mole percent for uh, ethanol and ethyl acetate. And we want to separate that out. Um, here we're going to have a pure stream. So that's going to be 500 kilomoles per hour of 100 mole percent, so pure ethanol. And then the other stream is also going to be 500 kilomoles per hour, and that's going to be pure ethyl acetate. OK, so this system is going to separate this stream into two streams, but there's also some recycle up here from the overheads. Okay, so um, we want to be able to solve a mole balance and also a species balance um, for this system in order to be able to compute um, the molar flow rate of A and the molar flow rate of B. Okay, so um, if we just do an overall mole balance, if we just did an overall one, then we would just say that um, I'm just going to call this n uh, in dot, and then this one will be n dot out one and n dot out two. Okay, so if we do that, um, you know the overall mole balance, uh, the n equals out, and then two as well then um, there's no uh, degree of freedom there, no variable to calculate. So this one isn't very useful for us right now. It's just 1,000 equals 500 plus 500. We already knew that. Okay, so um, let's say uh, we want to calculate this Na and Nb. How do we do that? So what we need to do is do a mole balance over um, each individual. You could do it over either one of these. Okay, so it could be over either one. So let me just go ahead and uh, refresh your memory in terms of uh, what we do when we do a, a mole or energy balance. It's accumulation equals in minus out plus generation minus consumption. Okay, and uh, in this case we're going to have no accumulation, no generation, no consumption. It's just in equals out. Okay, so let's do that for this uh, first one. Um, so I'm going to have n in plus n uh, b. Okay, so that's going to be coming in right here. Um, and that's going to equal n dot a. That's going to be leaving. And then I also have n dot out uh, 1. Okay, so that those are uh, in equals out. And then I might need to do a species balance as well. So let's just do the moles of ethyl acetate. Okay, so that's going to be 0.5 times moles of NN plus 0 0.55. Okay, so that's um, the ethyl acetate coming back. Okay, and that equals 0 0.65 um, times N dot A. Um, and then we have nothing leaving through the bottom. No ethyl acetate leaving through the bottom. It's just all ethanol. Okay, so we have our two um, balances. And um, you know, I could write another one for the uh, ethanol. Um, but that one is not going to be independent of the other two because I can add up uh, the bottom two and it gives me the top one as well. Okay, so I can choose any. Uh, I could use those two. I can use the top two. I can use the, the first one and the third one. I can use any uh, two of these. Okay, so, so we know this value. We know this value. Na and Nb are our unknowns. Okay, so um, if I just rearrange this, Let's just say that, um, actually, let, let's just go ahead and do it for the second one as well. Okay, so n dot a equals n dot b plus n dot out 2. Okay, and then I'm going to write my two species balances um, 
as well. Okay, n dot b uh, plus one times n out two. Okay, so I'm just writing these for ethyl assay and ethanol. Okay, so that's going to be zero. That's going to be zero. So this one might be just uh, maybe just a little bit easier to solve. Let's just go ahead and use uh, this one instead. So I have n dot a, and uh, let me go ahead and just plug it in right here, okay, to this equation. Uh, so I can choose any two of these and be able to solve it, okay? So I'm just going to choose these two right here. Um, so therefore I have, let's see, n a, okay, and I'm just going to plug in n dot uh, b and um, and n out 2, which is 500. Okay, so that is going to be um, 0 0.65 times n dot b plus 500 um, equals, and then it's going to be uh, 0 0.55 times n dot b plus um, 500. Okay, so if I just rearrange this and solve for n dot b, then I get an answer of 1750. And then if I plug that back up into here, I just add 500 to get n dot a, and that is 2250. Okay, so there are my answers. And what I can do is, is just check these. I can plug them into any of the other ones as well. Um, let me just go ahead and plug it into, let's see, let's plug it into this one. I only have two terms right here. Okay, 0 0.35 times n dot a, 0 0.45 times n dot b. This is going to equal 787.5, uh, and that is 787.5. Okay, so uh, this is a mole balance, and we had to use a mole balance. We had to use two of these, I need two of these equations, in order to be able to calculate um, n dot a and n dot b.